Okay everyone, welcome back. This is part two of the scenario Into the Lair. And as you can see, we've got a load of drones and a few cockatrices coming our way. Now, uh, you may think that something is suspicious here, and you would be right, because uh, what happened is that a couple of turns after this point, um, I managed to get Elinia instantly petrified by a cockatrice, and that, believe it or not, causes you to lose the game. Reason being, Elinia is the only person who can unpetrify, and obviously she can't unpetrify herself when she's petrified. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, now, I figure the solution to this quandary is basically to back the hell up with absolutely everyone, and so that's going to be my approach. Okay, now when fighting this drone, the crucial thing is not to get anyone out in range of Mal Aravir, the Chaos Lawkeeper. Though, to be honest, if he wants to come out, as long as he doesn't die, as long as I don't die, it's all good. But, unfortunately, he's very powerful down here because he's chaotic. He's also got an Ethereal Blast act, uh, ability, which means that the only person I would really trust to tank his attacks is Mal Keshar. And uh, yeah, well, Malkeshar has other issues, basically. His, uh, his main issue at the moment uh, is that he's, um, he's quite... Uh, he's, he's a little bit hurt, and he also takes a ton of arcane damage. If we look at his description, yeah, he takes an extra 50% damage from arcane. So, do not want him to be the person in question. Okay. I can run for you to get some healing. You can come over here, and you should. And then I'm going to try and use Spectres here. Uh, no cockatrice is quite in range if I go here, and this invoker isn't in range either. Some of the drones are, but that's fine, I can still back up from here. This drone is going to be annoying, I'm going to have to try and kill that somehow. But otherwise, everyone is going to run to a place where they can get as much healing as they can. And I'm going to back up towards the entrance so that I can hopefully, if I can get away in time, use this three tile gap. It's really tempting to use Igor to go and grab this house, but I know that if I do, I will A. Yeah, no, I'll be in range of the cockatrice, so do A. And I will get, basically, I'll get the law keeper to come out, and I don't really want him to do that. Because he can do a ton of damage to uh, friend Igor, who is not a Russian. I really missed an opportunity not giving him a Russian accent. Um, and my main reason for doing so is that my Russian accent is terrible, as you can tell. So no Russian accent for me. Alright, bring it. Just have I got enough turns for this stupid level. Okay, everyone's kind of crafting around on the brown players team. The purple player is recruiting dogs, which is annoying because I'm kind of worried about the combination, basically. I'm worried about the combination of dogs and cockatrices. But there's only the one, so should be alright. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, back up, everyone, back up further.
Um, that's, well, I can't move all that far, so... Some people are kind of slow. Arathon is one of them. But I think it's not the end of the world. And the dog can reach a square that no one else can reach. So that might be an opportunity for me to take the dog out of action with Malkeshar, who can drain it. There we go. I want to have you next to Alinea. Um, you can't move very far. Doesn't matter if you're not on the front lines though. You go back. It's as far as you can go. Okay, now hopefully no one can reach me here. Um, I mean, these guys don't really have any option other than to run at my impenetrable wall of doom. Um, so I'm basically just hoping that's what they do. And it's a bit, I'm a bit uh, annoyed that... Ah oh, yeah, here we go. Perfect, no more dog. But we do have cockatrices coming in. And I think the trick with the cockatrices is going to be to keep a linear behind the front lines and to try and have as few people petrified as I can. Um, but this backing up strategy, I like it a lot better than what I previously did, which is to run in higgledy-piggledy style. The trouble with having a linear on the, on the back is... Um, well, yeah, I mean, Melania is going to make these spectres worse at fighting. Can't get everyone in on a healer here. So I'll leave you where you are, I don't think it's desperate yet. Blade, Deathy, you go to the back. And you're healed, so you go back as well. You can hop there. And I don't think anyone can actually reach me. So I can afford to heal up for another round. And hopefully these enemies will come out at me. Oh, come on! Okay, the AI is on ultra-conservative mode. That's annoying. Um, I would really like to have been able to, to pick these guys off. Maybe I still can. So one cockatrice can reach a little bit further than anyone else. And only one. So if I plot Malkeshar there and put Elinia behind him, then either the cockatrice takes itself out, or... well, nothing happens, really. What resistances do they have? Okay, Arcane absolutely murders them. So, I need to have someone who's going to have a retaliatory Arcane attack. And Malkishar seems suitable for the task. And I can lure these two drones at the back out. And kill them independently. With Spectres. There's going to be more enemies behind this, but uh, these two at least. Worst case scenario, they have to run back. Alright, let's see what happens now. Okay, so Cockatrice goes in. Petrifies Malkeshar, who is going to be healed immediately by Linea. Did some damage, not as much as I'd have liked. That was definitely not as much damage as I would have liked. Neither was that. 
Alright, Malkeshar is unpetrified. Um, only the, interestingly, I can use this situation to my advantage because only the cockatrices are coming in now. So I need to put people here in range of the cockatrices, but only people who Ilinia can unpetrify, and only people with arcane damage which will take these guys out. What about Erethan? You've got a nice marksman arcane attack. Um, the other potential person is Ledinor, actually. Um, Both of you are only 40% defense, which is a bit sad. So let's try it like this. What about wait? How far can you reach? No, not even close. Okay, good. I can union attack this cockatrice, because uh, that's nice, because I've got the uh, power couple right there. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, and now these guys are not advancing. So I can continue to take them out. Both Blady and Slashy are not too far from another level. I'll try and give. I'll give someone back here, you can get the kill. I can try and lure out a few more drones. Once the cockatrices are all dead, I don't have all that much concern about this flank. No one can get round, so I can do this. Yeah, none of you are fast enough. Look, okay, I can put someone there. And the drone would come. But it's also a spot where the cockatrice can reach, so that's not great. So, if I want to lure out the drones, I'll have to do it further down here. Well, let's try it. Alright, that's the ticket. So, from there ought to be the case that only a couple of these folks can reach and they're both neither of them are going to kill my spectre should I actually put put you on the house then you'll get the healing as well yeah why not starve the brown player of some money and that's good because it's not the brown player, it's the black player that's hiring the cockatrices if, the, if there is a black player. And hopefully there will be some end eventually to this flood of cockatrices. Alright, the purple warriors kind of... Okay, that was fairly ineffectual. The Petrify, fortunately, doesn't do that much damage. Okay, that was quite powerful. Okay, we are unpetrified, so we can Union again. Oh, come on! That's not fair. The Malkeshar gets petrified. We'll try and take this one out in melee combat with Erethan. It doesn't work. And these other drones are getting closer, but they're still not actually in range apart from this one. These ones, I mean, I might... It's, it's tempting to bring to put the spectres in a, in a completely separate fight. Um, I can't stop you from going and attacking Ledinor if you want to, unless I move Ledinor out of the way, and I don't want to do that because I don't actually mind if Ledinor gets petrified. Um, what I can do is come down here with all of my ghostly troops and start to pick off the rest of these ray blades and friends. Okay. 
Okay, you get the kill, and then the rest of you can all come, those three of you can come to the south and attack my forest spirit. You go and get some health, stay out of range, um, you come down here to the back, can anyone range you? No, good. Actually, you can just go right behind, show that you are Einsatzbereit. That's German for ready. Um, Melkishar has moved. If anyone else comes out here, they're going to kind of be in trouble. So I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, that was ineffectual. I don't think you could be a shock spell and be strong. What an annoying personality trait. Okay, everyone's unpetrified, but we got a we got an invoker coming in, and I do not like those guys. So let's hope we can get some kills this time round. First of all. Whoever goes down south will be able to be attacked by an invoker. Um, that's fine, so that should be Galas, really. Galas gets the kill, and it looks like there's only one cockatrice left, so I can start to play a little bit more riskily. Over here... Glaive... Alright, Erethan is not looking too great. Um, now this cockatrice can only reach... A little, I'm a little worried about even if... So who can attack Erethan next turn? Quite a lot of people. It would be nice to prevent that from happening. And the best way of doing that would be to move Malkeshar out here and Alinea to here. And then if I do that, Malkeshar will become attackable by pretty much everyone. And then Malkeshar will have a lot higher chance of dying than, El than Erethan ever did. Okay, so I'm going to once again try the old Union. There we go, that's more like it. Now I have to worry less about petrification. Could just run in now. Um, uh, like I say, my main concern is just Erethan getting sliced to ribbons by these nasty, nasty people. Not so worried about the drone, but these two level 1 Chaos units, they can be nasty. Um, but first let's see what I do Let's see what can be done down in the south. Ah, perfection. Um, if I can finish off this fight, which I ought to be able to... And these folks don't have anyone, anything else to worry about. That thing's dead. Bring you around here. Cockatrice can't reach anyone at the moment, but the other people can. So I suspect they are going to go for Erethan. We'll just have to cross our little fingers that Erethan manages to survive this. Um, let's see. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Oh! 
Oh crap, okay. <gasps> now I wouldn't have to restart if Erisun died. He is not at this point a hero I have to keep alive. However, he did survive, just, um, I mean, you know, I won't say I got super lucky there, I got some good luck and I got some bad luck. I got three hits on 60%, which is pretty bad luck, and I got one hit on 70%, which is pretty flipping great luck. Um, so, you know, um, the universe has a way of course correcting, and we've got another drone spawning down south, um, but it's a weak one. Um, first things first, probably take out the invoker. Uh, take out the irritating little bastard, whatever they're called, um, cockatrice. Good. All right. Um, Got to watch out a little bit who gets in range of the nasty law keeper. Um, and there's unfortunately not a great deal I can do about that. So first of all, Erethan, hmm. You take quite a lot of arcane damage, don't you? Yeah, you do. Alright, don't want you to get in range of the Law Keeper, for sure. And you can't take out this guy in one hit, not like the Spectres can. So, how to play this, how to play this. Someone with range damage, please take out this guy. Uh, when I say range damage, I really do mean range damage. That was a very stupid thing to attack him in melee with Ledinor, but hopefully... Ledinor's now not in range of the big bad, so he should survive. I hope. Um, now, if I can use Erethan to get one hit here, even if he takes three damage, that's fine. As long as I can block him off, which I should then be able to with my other units. But it is quite bad if he doesn't kill anything. And there we go. He didn't kill anything. Igor. Okay, there's a Zephyr back here. <laughs> Malkashar stepping forward will not put him in range. Right, and a nice kill for Alinea. And Malkeshar can do the boom, 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 boom thing. No kill. All right, so Galas, Igor, only Galas and Igor are currently in range of the Chaos Law Keeper. That's actually fine if I can keep it like that. Want to go? down here and attack the brown drone and Deathy's gonna have to take flank oh dear my spectres are not performing at, the, at their usual level um, now this this guy and this guy alone can get round. What's your resistance like? Um, I mean, so basically, if everyone gangs up on him, he's going to be buggered. And they might well do that, unless he can get a couple of kills. This drone can just run, run around the back, that's fine, or it can come in. But if it comes in, it will be blocking the others. And I'm going to bring you back here so that you can't, so that this runner drone can't get my squishy elves at the back. All right. So now I just really, really hope Eagle doesn't get killed. He's not going to. Un oh, yeah. Because now it's the brown player's turn.
Okay, got there in the end. Okay, so, uh, Igor, your current situation is that you will be able to uh, get, you'll be, you're quite badly damaged, you're also poisoned, but you're too experienced off the level, and that means that if you want to come around here, Galas can also get in there, and Galas can slow and drain. And I think that's going to be what's crucial in dealing with this guy. Uh, where to put him, where to put him? Here I'll do. Oh, okay. You're not super fast. That's good. Um... All right, we got a, a sentry drone back here. All right, um, Mal Fuckface is slowed. Once again, I can use quite weak troops to take out people at the back here and then go in with the tankies. Um, not tankies in the like tanky tanky sense, but all right. Well, you, none of these guys have got arcane attacks. I think the sentry drones might have marksmen. Is that why they hit all the time? Nope, they're just lucky. Um, <laughs> they're just literally all of them. <laughs> the AI is lucky. Um, mm, smart. Okay, well, you'll be on 71 hit points after this, so uh, yeah, you just go for it and hopefully rip into this this little bugger a bit. You could even get the kill if you got really lucky, if you got every single hit. I don't think you will, but... Whew, so many drones. <gasps> no. <laughs> not quite. Not quite that lucky, but not too far off. Okay, I've got a drone down here. Um, this is perhaps... This is an annoyance. Um, I can see what I can do. I think Malkeshar can stay here. Take out the grey blade. And possibly Sothinia can take out this runner drone. And then someone like. Okay, you can. You guys are not within useful range of anything. I want to kill the purple leader, mainly because if I can do that, then the purple leader will be dead, um, which is obviously my objective, and um, and he won't be able to summon any more units, crucially, no irritating dogs or cockatrices or any other bullshit like that. Alright, down he goes. Only one purple unit left, it's a matter of cleaning up purple, um, but I think best strategy is just to try and take on this guy and contain him with vipers um, and hopefully Ledinor can get the kill up here. Uh, Erethan can stay where he is. Womp, 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 womp. You come down here. What happens when you do that, when you go to there, say? Can you then reach... Yeah, you can reach Erethan, that's not great. Um, but I should be able to prevent that by moving you across to here. Yep, good. So you can come in and fight. And it's not very effective, dot dot dot. Um, not many people can reach Sothinia. There's a few drones back here, but they can't do anything useful. Mostly worried at this stage about... You can't do anything useful either. I mean, there's basically four units that can get in here, and they can all reach Igor if they want to gang up. But they are different players, so maybe they won't. And he's on 70-something hit points. So he ought, by all odds, by all rights, to be to be just fine. I mean, that you know, this sentry drone, if it hits with everything, can do all of that damage in one go. But I suspect the Chaos Invader will try and go for either Gallus or Alinea. 
All right, well, let's see. Oh, you little bastard. No! Okay, didn't kill him. Okay, Elinia can club that guy to death. Well, RIP all of those uh, <laughs> hard-won hit points over there. Um, but what can you do? What, in any case, can you, in fact, do? <coughs> Run away is what you can do now. And I would advise you to do so. Now, there are drones up here. They're just sitting there at the moment. This area is going to be one where drones continually respawn. And I've got two passageways that I need to take care of. Now, hopefully, now that these armies are dead, this shouldn't pose too much of a challenge. Um... Good. Um, you can range a linear if she perches there. Both of you guys, well, you're, you know, we know who you are, you deal damage. That's kind of your thing. You. Fantabulous, that was good. Um, I could even use someone weak, like, piffling little Galas to get the kill here. But this guy poisons, so... Uh, you can even drain, drain Galas. Nice, and you'll get some healing next turn. And so now a linear... can take on this guy, and this guy will only... I mean, I have to hit him with all five attacks for him to die. Uh, but I do have Malkashar there as well. Perfect. You're not fast enough to reach Igor, though just in case anyone is, I'm going to move him one tile back. Or even actually, yeah, I'm going to put him here. Um, am I going to do that? It seems like a waste. Yeah. can use that to heal someone else. Um, and then you guys stay where you are. You come down here. Don't need to aggro this Zephyr this turn. And you, because you can't reach a healer, can just go on this house and get health that way. La 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 la. Alright, no movement. There's just one drone that's popped up on the horizon over here. So we can start heading out. You guys are fully healed. Erethan, you stay where you are. You could run in and deal with these drones. I mean, I'm not even sure, given that they're all the way over there. I, if I do need to go through here, hmm, hmm, tricky. Can't see how far this guy can reach, because I don't know where his little cubby hole comes out. But these orange guys can't be too far away. So I feel like I should split my party. We'll send a linear down here. Okay, there's drones back here. There's even a quite a nasty drone, so I won't go ahead of a linear then. 
only you two can get round here, so... Uh, that wasn't great. Hmm. <clears throat> This way is a bust. Probably want another spectre up here because I'm going to be fighting more drones. I'm going to be fighting drones everywhere. Uh. Um. Okay, let in all. You're on full health. You. Come up here and get ready to deal with more drones. Malkeshar can go straight on. And tank some drone fire. And I'm going to send a spectre with him. Ooh! It's a Verlish of the Crawly Crawly type. Two Verlish of the Crawly Crawly type. Hmm. You just hop onto a house. Um, I need to actually, I can't leave you guys behind. If you stay behind, you will get hurt, because drones will appear. So what I want to do is actually move you along with the rest of the troops. And I can always see what's behind me, that's nice. Well, that puts an immediate fly in my... the ointment of my plan. Because I need to get the healers back together again. It's nice to have Malkeshar not emasculated by the uh, evil powers of chaos. Um, he can sit here. These guys... Again, I'm going to use Malkeshar to tank them. I'm not even... You're, you're so slow. Can I see anything else down here? No. You're so... Yeah, you're just, you guys are just so slow. Um, we'll put Malkeshar. Is that good enough? No. Let's go one further. Just investigate with a spectre. Who can now pop back behind Mal and get ready to deal some uh, lethal damage afterwards. Uh, you're not... you're alright. You're not great against cold damage. Cold damage is one of the things that can hurt you. So maybe I'll send you up to fight the drones instead, because fire damage is fantastic against drones. Didn't really move you in the optimal way last time around. Let's put you in the middle. And see what I can do here. Well, you'll be poisoned if you attack. Ah, oh, these guys do so much damage. And maybe I will attack anyway, because you have a slow ability as well. And so if you don't get the kill, which you won't, um, you can at least stop a linear from taking all the damage in the universe. Uh, no drones respawned yet, that's good. Bring you up here to get bask in the warmth of my healers. Igor, you come along behind and bask in the glory of my healers as well. And then you can come down and sit on the village. And then I think we're okay up here. You, you're another poisoner. So, I won't aggro you just yet. I'm going to instead come round, join the main bulk. Could do with a few more units, but uh, that's always the way. Alright. Oh, resilient one, you take three hits. Alright, let's not get, let Elinia get poisoned again, that was annoying. So I'm going to send you down here. Um, do you have... is there anywhere here that you've got good defense? 
talking. Let's see if there's anyone else back here. Ooh, it's a Psy Mind Raider. These guys are horrible. Um, and they're weak to arcane, but they've got a powerful ranged arcane attack themselves. So basically they're the kind of unit that you need to get in and uh, one hit KO with powerful arcane troops, essentially. Um, and that means spectres. So let's just pop you guys back. You can come down and sit behind the healer. And then all my spectres are going down this way and all my elves are going up this way. Those guys can respawn in a second. I need to keep pushing on. So. All right, we've got Demoness Warrior there. We can take her next turn. Just get this one out of the way first. You can choose who you attack. You can even go for Galas if you want in melee, then you'll just kill yourself. Oh, and back here we've got a Demon Warrior, and we've got another Cockatrice. Good thing I've got a Linear up here. Need to lure the Demon Warriors out before... You're very, very slow on caves, aren't you? It's going to call you Kalens. You're Ledinor. Oh, okay. Galas goes for Galas goes for the attack of extreme suckiness. Um, now, what's tricky is like what I can't do is sensibly lure out the Psy Mind Raider, and there is a tree behind it. But if I put it here, it's not very fast, so I think I can get my spectres to be in range of it. And then they can go in for the kill next turn. Well, Keshar in the meantime can stay where he is. Up here I need to take a different course of action, because I want to lure out some demon warriors. And it looks like I can find a leader up here, that's good. Um, but first things first, and the first thing is... I keep forgetting this. You're weak against cold. Okay. Well, yeah, you're not strong. I just, I just <laughs> reassigned you from the south because you're weak against cold, and now you've got, now we've got two units that deal massive cold damage. That's, uh, that's some kind of luck, isn't it? <clears throat> that was. Pathetic. Now, Galas, you just hop back a moment. Let Erethan. Good. Um, now, that Gladius should have given you some cold resistance. Um, and so I'm not convinced that your current resistances are correct, Galas. And as a result, I'm just going to move you up front, and you can take the fight against this Demoness Warrior. Lure her out before we lure the Cockatrice out. I'm just going to move up Linear up a little bit as well. Um, and Igor, you can go. Ooh, any drones? Nope. Good. Eagle can go back to the house. Kalens, Ledinor can follow up. Good, good, good. This is all going well. I suspect he's going to use the chill attack rather than the blade attack, but we shall see. And down here I'm ready to make a strike. Oh. Yep. Oh. Ow! Man, that really hurt. Fortunately, everyone else is on good health. In good health, on good health. Um, so if I play this right... I think... Oh, 
I'm gonna slow. Alright, now I need to get four hits that will deal seven damage from this forest spirit. And Elinia is gonna get attacked by the demon warrior, but no one else is in range. Oh no! For some reason this guy... For some reason... Why is she doing less damage? Have these guys got fire resistance or something? Okay, I'll need all five hits. Well, I got all five hits. Blow me down. You stay where you are. You hop forward one step. Um, um, <laughs> one step at a time, clearing out, clearing out, clearing out these irritating demon warriors. <clears throat> now these guys can go in, and they can all reach our friend, your friend and mine, the Psy... what's his face? So Blady, you go first. And that's why you get spectres. And it's dead. Up here we got some trees. This is interesting actually. This is perfect a perfectly like team elf um with a team elf um and Team Undead, but the Undead have got a, a shy healer uh, figures. Alright, now just don't kill Ilinia, please. Gonna need Ilinia to do some cockatrice healing. Also, if she dies, I lose. Spectres. Uh, oh, can Malka shot? Ah, yes, he can. Oh, lovely. Mmm, food. Yeah. And you get this one. Can't be too cautious in these horrible underground passages. Then you go there. Um, <laughs> no need to be careful with it. You'll regain two hit points no matter where she is. And then I can scout a tad with you. Aha, there we've got another demon leader. This one does chill damage as well, so um, hopefully these guys will be too hard. And there is, oh, ooh, there is a cockatrice. Okay. <sighs> hmm, okay. I think my strategy will have to be I can't, I can try and lure out the demon leader, actually. It would be very nice if that worked. I'm gonna let this demon actually take some uh ha this 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 drone can have a go if it wants. I'm not too fussed by that. What's this guy doing? Really nothing much, it seems. But I can't get there to find out. No drones spawned up here. Over here we've got a couple of units to take care of. The cockatrice is back there. Um, could do this, but Elinia will be piss weak if I if I can't pull it off. I'm gonna put you here. you back a bit, maybe bring in Callens. Should get the kill. Well, what about you? You should get the kill with two hits. That would be perfect. Knickers into a tris. You were doing several damage before. 
now you're doing bugger all. Um, now if I don't, now given that I can lure out the cockatrice, probably is not a bad idea at this point. back there so you get the auto heal and when the cockatrice comes out it'll either get zapped by Kalens uh, or or it'll get killed next turn in melee. Galas you stay, oh no Galas you go into the healing zone. You can't get healing so you just stay where you are and there's no drones. I keep checking and it's panicking some drugs. drones are gonna panicking that some drones are gonna just sort of pop out of my butt somewhere. That's generally how these things work. Okay. Kill! No kill. Oh wow, nice one, Blady. Thanks for nothing. Anyone want to put any money on whether I can get Sothenia to another after maximum level advancement in this campaign? She needs 178 experience. And for a unit who's not all that good at fighting, I kind of suspect it's not going to happen. But stranger things have, so... Now I could try at this stage... I'm going to wait one turn, but I could try and lure out the Demon Warrior. I'm just going to have one fewer thing to fight at once if I do it this way. Alright, good. Up here I just need to basically whack the cockatrice over the head repeatedly until it dies. And the best person to do that is Galas. Okay, we've got trees. Alright, cockatrice is dead. Um, we only have as far as I can tell, unless there are magic drones somewhere. We only have the Demon Warrior leader to deal with, so let's go and scout. Nope, there is another drone. So let's see if he comes out to fight. Ledinor is pretty tough. He will not die if I do get attacked. I'm going to just scout one more square, see what else there is. Just more trees. Okay. Oh, okay, that was a slight miscalculation. So you can get attacked as well. But again, you shouldn't be able to be killed. And now, Igor, you come out and join the fight in case you're needed. Are there any drones? No, there aren't. Good. We're closing in on both leaders. Alright, run in and attack the demon warrior, or... I mean, actually, two of you can reach the cockatrice. And honestly, you should be able to kill it. Maybe one of you can kill it, and you're near another level. Perfect. You can't get in, but everyone else can. Okay, good. Um, you need to come around the side. And the two of you... Fantastic. One-shotted by Big MK. MK Ultra. You get the house. 
you get the other house. There's more stuff back here. Interesting. And back here. How big is this bloody place? Oh, there's another cockatrice. Hmm. It all links up at the back, I see. Well, do I even need to go back there? Is it actually useful for me to go back here? What? Maybe it is, because actually... Yeah, it must, must be, because I still need to figure out some way of opening this... Flipping gate. Okay, so now we're in a situation where lots of people can reach the big bad. Galas can drain, Galas can slow. Galas is unlikely to hit, but it should get hit with one of these attacks. Keep going, keep going. It's just trees. Oh shit. Um, okay, there's a cockatrice. There's more drones. The drones, these two drones can reach me, the other ones can't. Uh, so many units! Uh, some of them quite potent. Can anyone else get to that back point? Yes, they can. Okay, so Gallus really needs to go here to get the maximum effect. Ha! Alright, missed with every attack. Don't panic, don't panic. Um, to just zap this guy, or should I try and do something smarter? How much damage does fire do to this guy? Not great. It's not terrible either, if, especially if I bring you into the light. Um, yeah. Right, now it would be surprising. I only need three out of five hits to really need to get the kill. And that should be doable. It's, you know, I've got good odds on that. Alright, there we go. So now uh, the main thing to make sure is that Eleni doesn't die. And I can achieve that at least partially by whacking Kalans up front and letting him and Galas take the damage. Um, I'm most worried about Galas, because Galas can be ranged by this sentry drone. But the Galas can't be ranged by anything else other than these guys. And if I move up Igor. More visibility as well. Ah, there's cockatrices in the back. Of course there are. Oh, there's another guy here, but you can't reach me. Oh, another drone has spawned here. You guys can't get round. You guys can only get round here. So the best plan is to put Erethan down here. Alright, you folks should be safe. Um, so, yeah. everyone dramatically fails to get any poison damage um, but at this point we have defeated three enemy leaders in this part including the purple one that I should probably have defeated in the previous part we have not lost anyone yet we've not recruited recalled advanced or lost anyone we've lost 91 units worth 2142 gold and um, uh, yeah uh, it's just about time for a break. So I'm going to take one. See you next time, YouTube.